Actually, almost all of the electronic devices must be grounded. But what does ground do for us? Let us imagine a simple circuit like this. We can directly tie this circuit to the ground, Earth, and we call it GND, and abbreviated by GND, the term for ground. But why should we do that? Or why we do that, actually? There are two reasons to do that. And the first reason is that we know electromagnetic waves are all around us due to radio stations, mobile phone stations, and other kind of natural sources. And these electromagnetic waves can induce currents over our circuit. Even if the voltage is DC and the current is DC, they can cause some noise over our DC current, which most of the time we don't want. And when we tie that to ground, there is no voltage difference between ground and our circuit's negative side so that it cannot induce electromagnetic induction. So this is one reason, but the most important reason is to protect ourselves and to protect living beings. Let me show you how. Just imagine our electronic circuit here has a simple case that is made of a conductor like copper. And this case, for example, is not connected to ground, our ground. Even if we short circuit to ground, we do not connect this enclosure to ground. If, if it happens some actually loosened terminal or a kind of a piece of copper touches our casing here, it happened to touch our case, what happens if somebody touches this? Actually, I'm really not good at drawing fingers, but if somebody touches this, what happens? Yes, he or she got shocked because now our current will pass through his body, provided that if our DC voltage is extremely high, let's say, let's say 1000 volts. In this case, you can get a shock. But if our case is connected to ground, tied to ground also, what happens is, since human body will almost have a huge resistance like 1 million ohms, maybe, I don't know, maybe lower than that, but it is huge. I know that it is gigantic and you're also grounded. A tiny amount of current passes through your body, you see, passes through your body, almost no current at all. But the huge part of the current will pass through our circuit and our short here and through our case to the ground. And in that case, we will not get shocked. If if it happens that a copper wire or a copper conductor can touch our metal casing. Because we are shorting this resistance and the resistance over our enclosure is tiny compared to resistance in our body. And if you know, and you know, the parallel connections that if we have a huge resistance here, for example, our human, is extremely huge compared to resistance of our conductor, huge current pass through that conductor and very, very small current pass through our body. 
And in that case, we will not get shocked. Even we do not sense, not notice that a current is passing through our body. Nevertheless, you can still enjoy the 9 volt battery and the resistance and an LED by connecting directly here and do not need any ground. You can still enjoy this circuit even if you're not grounding the circuit. But if you do ground, that doesn't matter. It's up to you. But this circuit could still fluently work.